<laughs> it's like riding a bicycle, isn't it? I don't think I've done this track in a simulator like for two years now. Hello YouTube. It's been a while, isn't it? I think last time I posted a video was in autumn or something like that. But uh, I'm back. A lot of things happened that I can't talk about that much. But one thing that I can tell you is the fact that Nikki and I finally bought a house, which means that I can start thinking about my rig setup. I'll show you the house eventually at one point when I get into it. We're moving in uh, this uh, spring, so I'm gonna start setting up. Now, I'm heading to London. I have a couple of errands to do there, but I'm also meeting with a friend and I'm gonna test his rig. He has a really sick motion rig with VR, high-end VR and so on. Now that I'm starting to look at shopping for a sim rig, I think it's time for me to start exploring various products and so on. So I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna test, we're gonna see how it feels. Um, there's a couple of things that I like about that rig, which is, for example, the fact that um, the motion, unlike D-Box, I'm gonna put it on the screen, has um, a bigger travel range than D-Box. So we'll see, I'll test it, I'll give you my first impression. And yeah, other than that, I have a couple of errands to do in London and uh, I'll take you with me. Right, let's go. Right, so I'm gonna show you the rig in a second. I didn't get there yet, but I remember I wanted to mention something. I'm starting uh, a new series on this YouTube channel. How are you gonna like it? As I mentioned before, I want this channel to be about tech as well, not just sim racing. Um, so, as of soon, I'm gonna start a uh, tech reaction channel, a tech reaction uh, show, sorry, with a friend of mine, Cody. He's really charismatic, really funny. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Again, I'm gonna share my experience with getting the sim rig and all of this stuff and uh, exploring and setting up my new awesome sim, sim rig. But I'm also going to talk about tech and I'm gonna do some cool stuff on this channel. So yeah, if that's something that you're interested in, continue to follow the videos subscribe if you haven't so what's what's the brand of the actuators uh, i don't think i have a brand to be honest uh the motors are called min mitch mitch motors uh it's just chinese and, and the base the the actuators so the inside here so you said you, you bought these separately so yeah so you've got you've got your profile which is 100 by 100 mm -hmm. Um, and then inside you've got a linear bedding, um, right? Again, coming from China. Um, they're basically 150 mil. Mm -hmm. uh, 150, yeah, 150. So total travel distance is 150. 150 the the entire travel. Yeah, that's insane. Um, and you can tweak it. So currently, I think I have it at like 110. D box. D box. Yeah. What what the range is on uh, that? I think it's like. I don't know, they have two models, but I think it's like 60. 60, so this is more than double. Yeah. So that's that's one of the reasons why I kind of want this. Because D-Box are bloody expensive and the travel is also... Yeah, not long. And how much overall did this all cost? Like the, the, the um, whole setup? I think about £2,000. For the actuators, the motors... The actuators, the motors, the controllers inside the box. Um, and the Thanos motion controller, which you might be able to see if you sneak inside there. Yeah. yeah, a bit dusty, but... Because you build this basically on your own. The word there, is there a lot of forums and stuff that kind of teaches you how to build your own? I mean, you literally have a step-by-step -step guide. Um, the 3D printing takes a long time though, because this is reinforced. Um, so oh, it's shit. So you, you, you 3D printed yourself so this? This bit, yeah. And there are two components in here, one at the bottom. And I literally 3D printed that for two weeks straight, 24 hours a day. Wow. 14 days. So in terms of the setup, you have the awesome hoisting bill. Yeah, sprint paddles, um, semi cube to base, uh, wheels, currently cube controls, F-Pro, I think it's called. So this is a USB, USB wheel. So Wait, it connects. Where's the USB? Sorry, the uh, Bluetooth wheel. Bluetooth, okay. Yeah, so it connects straight to the PC. 
um, shifters and um, clutches, both sides, so you can use it for Formula One. Um, custom boxes for some buttons. So the, you, you, I mean, this one I don't. This? Yeah, so these are 3D printed. They obviously USB. Um, I don't use the left one anymore because I use the VR, so the screens they make no sense <laughs> in VR. Um, the right one I actually use. Um, so I've got a uh, joystick thingy in the middle, bunch of uh, encoders which are push buttons as well, and yeah, up and down switches for lights and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and then the Pimax 8K. Pimax 8K. Um, which I'm excited to try because coming from 5k plus to 8k I want to see how, how big of a difference is although I've not sim raced in a long time <laughs> so I don't know if the difference is going to be very visible to me and I'm also probably going to get motion sick after this <laughs> and the PC you have a PC I, is I a, see a beautiful card in there yeah 4090 um, MSI and a i7, this 12th gen. And the tiniest monitor I've yes. ever seen. What is that, 10 uh, inch? I think it's 11, yeah, it's, it's quite big, 11 inch. Um, it's because of the motion, so because the whole thing moves. I don't want it to be top heavy, right? Yeah, true. And I use VR all the time, so all I need is something to be able to just... Have you ever tried, have you ever tried to race on <laughs> You can have a go. <laughs> no, I'm good. I think you might struggle with the FOV, but... Right, so okay, so I'm I'm gonna try this. I'm I'm excited to to give it a try. I'm excited for the motion, primarily because coming from a from a chair, next level racing, moving chair, whatever motion B three whatever it's called, and it was pretty. I was pretty hyped about that, but you know, you told me that this is much better. I've never actually done actuators, so. Uh, I'm excited to see what my experience with it is. And and if I think I still need a motion chair on top of it, because I think that's very uh, quite important because the braking, the, the lateral G-forces and so on, what excites me about this these actuators is the travel distance because you could potentially simulate the lateral G-force. You can a bit, yeah. Obviously, you, you can add more. So you, you can add... A layer underneath so then it moves front and back and oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's it up but that becomes quite complex all right let's have a go let's hop on let's see if i can still drive shifters are are really nice actually The motion, ooh. I really love how the bumps, the humps feel. I really like this lateral vibrations. I, I would say the only thing that's a bit weird is the braking doesn't feel that much. So I don't feel like I'm being pushed. Whoops. I think some of the things that I'm missing is the the braking and the acceleration. You can increase that. Like a bit the and the braking. <laughs> It's like riding a bicycle, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I've done this track in a simulator like for two years now. Whoops! Whoa! <laughs> right, so now the settings are a bit more aggressive, so I should feel the braking. And the, the, the other thing that was, that I felt was missing a bit is the vibrations um, of, of the engine and the revs and so on um, but things are a bit more aggressive now so let's see how I feel this time about it oh yeah okay feels better the shifting jolts are a bit I mean 
they feel good, maybe a bit too aggressive. I like the braking way better now. Of ACC, I don't think I've, I've not mentioned this, but I've not seen ACC this good in VR. Yeah, this looks really crisp. I'm curious what the uh, FPS is. Thank you. Right, so now the, the shifting should be a bit less aggressive. Oh yes, perfect. And I can feel the braking. This is also a preference thing. So probably when I get a set of these, I'll need to set them up the way it feels best for me. <laughs> I took the, the sausage curve. But again, I like the, the brake pedal. What is wrong with me? I don't like pressure pedals. so good. Pedals make such a big difference. Whoa, lock up. Okay, this is this is not a GT car, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking I'm looking around. This is so crisp. I can see so clearly the buttons, everything. The only thing about it, clarity is amazing, and the FOV is what? What's the FOV now set to? Uh, 160. 160. It's perfect. The only thing I would say is, because of the FOV and the lenses and so on, it's a bit front heavy um, compared to some of the other um, VR headsets. So I think I would need to make sure that I get uh, one the comfort kit with the Pimax, and two maybe have some weight here in the back just to balance things properly. Um, so that you can do more longer stints and so on, but it, it is amazing. I'm looking around this track and it's so crystal clear ACC. It's so good. Oh man. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Let's see. <laughs> My conclusion. My verdict. Um, I love a lot about the whole system. First of all, the whole swaying uh, when you get it, get a curb and the way it kind of like throws you left and right is super cool. You can feel the corners, I would say slightly less, at least on this setup, than the chair in terms of the G-forces. Braking is good. There is there is a bit of a difference with the chair because the chair kind of like pushes you a bit more and you feel the... the um, tightening of the belt and so on, although probably you can put something to this as well. Now, you can probably set it up the way you want in order to make sure that, um, you know, it feels good to you. Because again, you can make it as realistic as possible if you ever driven cars and on tracks and so on. But in the same time, is that playable? Are you being gonna be able to stay on track and, and spend time on track? So this is, it seems like it's very customizable. I like the fact that I can adjust things now, whether after I buy a system like this, because I'm definitely getting the ones with the 150 travel, after I buy a system like this, am I going to miss the moving chair? Maybe, but I think I'll need to first get the um, actuators, live with it for a bit, and then if I still feel, you know what, I want that G, a bit more of those lateral and brake G-forces, then I'm probably going to put a motion chair on top of it the 8k is phenomenal like the difference between 5k and and 8k this one here um it, it's big at least the last time i was in 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 acc um do you have it at full 8k yeah. you have it yeah. um up sampled as well yeah so like the, sample, yeah. it's so you can still see the the, the big a bit the pixels but the difference between this and 5k is so much um so much more detail 
and the 4090 it does br brilliant with this and I I'm really impressed so I'm probably gonna wind up having a very similar system the 4090 and the um, 8k I love the pedals as well and you know what I didn't feel the um, so this is very the brake pedal is very stiff you said yeah yeah it's for 45 kilos but you know what compare the si st stiffness of, of this um, Hoisinvel to me stiffing up the V3 is huge difference. Like I feel like game changer. These pedals. I was able to press the the pedal, apply pressure, the amount of pressure that I needed, and I've never been a pressure kind of guy in a sense. With my Fanatec V3, I put because everyone was saying crazy. Oh, well, you know, pressure and. Uh, make them as stiff as possible. So I've done that and I didn't like it. So I had to take the uh, adjustments off and I was breaking travel similar like with the with the, the throttle. And I think now I'm starting to understand why people are so fanatic, fana fanatic, <laughs> pun intended, about um, proper brake pedal with pressure on a proper set of um, of pedals like these like the hoisting though so thank you for letting me try this it's it's it's, it's awesome i want to i want to get to my new house and, and properly set up as soon as possible because i'm I, it's, it give, gives me brings me back memories this whole thing so it has so many bloody settings this is the sim magic studio sim sorry not sim magic not sim racing studio and these are all of the configuration available for this um, motion platform. Seeing the amount of um, configuration, the softening pitch roll and so on, um, just gives me confidence that I can probably set it up the way I need to.